In this video, I'll show you how you can connect your Google domain to your Wix website in a step-by-step -step format. So here's what you need to do. So first, go ahead and go over to Wix. And first thing, you need to make sure that the website you're connecting your domain to is a premium or has a premium plan. So you can see this website has a premium plan. So I'm going to select and edit this site. That's then redirected me to the dashboard. And now all I need to do is go to connect domain and enter in my domain. So the domain that I'm going to transfer is tutorialguideonyoutube.com. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that, then type in www. and then paste in my domain. Now we can click on let's go. Wix are then going to find your domain registration company and give you an instructions on how you can connect it. So first they're going to say that your domain is taken, which is a good sign because it's taken by you. So click on yes, I own this domain. And again, they're going to find your domain provider and they can see that this one is registered at Google Domains. So now we can confirm that and we get some instructions here. So you can see it takes around five minutes on our part, uh, but for the domain to be fully updated and um, it can take up to 48 hours. So do be patient. So to actually connect it, go to start and Wix tell you to log into Google Domains. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. I'm already logged in. So click I logged in. Then they say that you need to go to the My Domains page and find your domains. So obviously we probably know how to do that. You go to My Domains, then find your domain and click on Manage. Now you need to click I found my domain and it's going to tell you that you need to go on to DNS. So you need to find these name servers here. Now, if you've already like used this domain, these name servers might not exist. So nonetheless, what you need to do is you need to go to DNS and then once you're on DNS, you want to go to custom name servers, then click I found the name servers. And what we need to do is add these custom name servers. So copy the first one, then go manage name servers. And you can see they're already here for me because I used it for another tutorial. And but you would paste the first one in the first box and then copy the second one, paste the second one in the second box, then click save. Now you're not done when you've clicked save. You have to go ahead and click here, switch to these settings, because right now they're using the default name servers. We want to switch them to the custom name servers given by Wix. So click on switch to these settings. You can see now that the DNS settings are active. So now skip through these again, and we can now tell Wix that we've added them and they're going to verify this connection. So if you've done this right, you'll know in like 30 seconds. So there you go. Your part is done. And now we've got to do is wait up to 48 hours for everything to be updated. You can try it out now, it might work. Uh, but yeah, the chances are it won't. Just wait a couple of hours and it'll be working. 